wonderful arc over m almost decades now explaining why people are and have become so sick. That being said, people are willing to be made over in the image of these corporations. The reason there's so much anger online also is the, a, a newspaper like the Washington Post will leave a comment section. They don't care what you're saying. They don't care what you're thinking. That's why you get this anger that, oh, I, I have to be, uh, you know, I'm out here as a citizen and I'm operating on, in their playground. Make your own playground. The reason I'm here, Alex, is you've made your own playground. This is a figment of your imagination. The, and the Drudge Report is mine. It is a very simple thesis. You are what you dream you are and become. And I wish Americans would get out of the sickness and just become greater. And well, that's profound. I mean, because if we start creating our own maps, our own world, our own vision, then there's no way for these cultural tyrants to program us. And that's why they're pushing so hard to get more outrageous. I mean, is this the beginning of the end? And uh to operate in their playgrounds. So you become famous on YouTube. That's ridiculous. I'm not saying you. I'm saying the 13-year-old that just died that they're saying is the first YouTube star that died. You're playing in Google's hell pit. No, I agree, but I've make invaded all Make your own those. place. Make your own. The internet allows you to make your own dynamic, your own universe. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for Prison! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. It's been more than 16 years since Matt Drudge gave his historic speech at the National Press Club on June 2nd, 1998. At that time, he said that the mainstream media would go bankrupt, that uh, individual bloggers and researchers on the internet were just as important as the New York Times. The controlled state-run media had a field day making fun of Matt Drudge, but today their hubris has drained away and they're no longer as arrogant as they once were. Now we see calls for the FCC to regulate print news and online news, and we see establishment publications like Time Magazine, Newsweek, and the New York Times battling to keep from going completely bankrupt and imploding. It turns out pretty much everything that Matt Drudge said in that 40-minute speech has now come true. Well, Matt Drudge is saying a lot of things today that the mainstream media is still laughing at. Why do they laugh at people that have been proven right over and over again? Here are some of the most important moments, in my view, from Drudge's speech. And we're also adding headlines from over the years to show just how much of what he had to say came true. This is something new. 
This marks the first time that an individual has access to the news wires outside of a newsroom. You get to read all the news from the Associated Press, UPI, Reuters, to the Moral Cain, the Moral Cain uh, Agency French Press and the Chenoa. I'm a personal fan, fan of the Chenoa Press. Uh, and time was, only newsrooms had access to the full pictures of the day's events. But now any citizen does. We get to see the kinds of cuts that are made for all kinds of reasons. Endless layers of editors with endless agendas changing bits and pieces so by the time the newspaper hits your welcome mat, it had no meaning. Now with a modem, anyone can follow the world and report on the world. No middleman, no big brother. And I guess this changes everything. More than 10 years after breaking the Clinton Lewinsky story, Matt Drudge remains more powerful than ever with his website, thedrudgereport.com. Matt Drudge is a legend on the internet. Every journalist and politician in America reads his website on a daily basis. When radio lost out to television, there was anxiety. The people in the radio business were absolutely anxious and demanded government stop the upcoming television wave. Television was very nervous about uh, other mediums coming forward, cable. The movies were, didn't want sitcoms to be taped at movie studios for fear it would take away from the movies. No, television saved the movies. The internet is going to save the news business. I, I envision a, a future where there'll be 300 million reporters where anyone from anywhere can report for any reason. It's freedom of participation absolutely realized. Uh, the First Lady of the United States recently addressed concerns about internet during a cyberspatial Millennium Project press conference just weeks after Lewinsky broke. She said, we're all going to have to rethink how we deal with the internet. As exciting as these new developments are, there are a number of serious issues without any kind of editing function or gatekeeping function. I wonder who she was referring to. Mrs. Clinton continued, any time an individual leaps so far ahead of that balance and throws a system whatever it might be, political, economic, technological, out of balance, you got a problem. It can lead to all kinds of bad outcomes, which we have seen historically. We, we are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Would she have said the same thing about Ben Franklin, or Thomas Edison, or Henry Ford, or Einstein? They all leapt so far ahead out, that they shook the balance? No, I say to these people, faster, not slower. Create, let your mind flow, let the imagination take over. And if technology has finally caught up with individual liberty, why would anyone who loves freedom want to rethink that? If you're an undersecretary at the Energy Department and you're doing an interview and you say one thing, you know, during, you could end up uh, being on the front page of Drudge. Anyone saying anything can, um, can get caught up in, in the spin cycle in a way that is very damaging. To, you know, it, it, will, it hurts what we're trying to do on a daily basis, but also is very damaging to that individual person. And we cannot hide our bad news stories. Bad news gets out one way or the other, and we must come to terms with telling the bad stories as well as the good. When bad things happen, the American people should hear it from us not as a scoop on the Drudge Report. The editor of Civilization magazine, Adam Goodhart, wrote a great op-ed in the New York Times talking about, is this really something new, this type of fast reporting, this competitive, I'm very competitive, I'm more part of the headline generation. He maintains it was a going back to our foundations. When the press was found, in quite a different atmosphere when the press would report that the president's mother was a common prostitute brought over by the British Army. 
Imagine if someone did that now. We have a great tradition of freedom of the press in this country, unpopular press. If the first lady is concerned about this internet cycle, what would she have done during the heyday when there was 12, 13 editions of a paper in one day? What would she have done with that news cycle? That's the foundation. That's what makes this club great, is the tradition. And I think we have a tradition of, uh, of uh, provocative press. And that I maintain that I'm the new, new face on that. I'll take that for a season. But a lot of the stuff I do is serious stuff. I was first to report that the encryption was missing from a Laurel satellite, for example, a couple weeks ago. I, I didn't see the main press reporting that one. Uh, so I, not everything I do is gossip or bedroom. To the contrary, I think that's just an easy uh, label to dismiss me and to dismiss the new medium. But uh, I, I'm, I'm excited about the launch of this internet medium, and I, I get the freedom of the press belongs to anyone who owns one. Tonight, the Drudge Report and Infowars are once again in the crosshairs as the U.S. government seeks to regulate conservative media via election laws. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist whose stories often make their way from his website, InfoWars, where on any day you can find headlines about vaccines, mass fluoridation, and the 9-11 cover-up, into the so-called mainstream GOP establishment. Alex Jones was a champion of Clive and Bundy from the very beginning. Because he's saying he'll do whatever he has to uh, to not be, uh, you know, have his grazing rights stolen uh, by these pirates. Drudge elevated the story, and it made its way onto Fox News' airwaves. Next thing you know, so-called mainstream Republicans are calling people like this patriots. The conservative website that's called The Drudge Report uh, pulled out all the stops today to promote a big new bombshell video. Today, the leading conservative website's headline was this. Civil War Senate to go for handguns. I'm an addict. I, I'm a Drudge addict. I, my homepage is actually something else, National Review, but oh. I find myself going to Drudge all the time Fancy. because as a communications professional, you can tell what's going to come down the pike. If there's a siren on Drudge Report, you're like, oh boy, better go knock on the Oval Office door and let them know what's going to happen. Walkergate. Yes, we're calling it that. It's the latest Hillary conspiracy theory that set the internet to blaze. After the Drudge Report questioned whether Clinton was using a walker in this People magazine cover photo. Well, Internet pioneer Matt Drudge created a firestorm over the weekend, tweeting, just paid the Obamacare penalty for not getting covered. I'm calling it a liberty tax. But a White House representative firing back, tweeting, flat lie, no fee for previous years. Scary how much influence he once had. And then the White House shot back and said, you know, made some cheap shot about, oh, he used to be relevant. Are you kidding me? Matt Drudge <laughs> used to be relevant. Let me give you the numbers. In one month, right, go on the website, 800, almost 810 million unique views on the Drudge Report. I guess that uh, a nice Twitter fight between the White House and Matt Drudge. Uh, people had suggested I start a mailing list. So I collected the emails and set up a list called the Drudge Report. One reader turned into five, then turned into a hundred. And faster than you could say, I never had sex with that woman, it was a thousand. <laughs> five thousand, a hundred thousand people. The ensuing website practically launched itself. That's it for the show tonight. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you here tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, Valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.